Chapter on the acceptance of the repentance of the one who kills even if he has killed a great deal. It was narrated from Abu Sayyid al-Khudri that the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Among those who came before you, there was a man who killed ninety-nine people. Then he asked who the most knowledgeable man on earth was, and he was directed to a monk. He went to him and told him that he had killed ninety-nine people. Could he repent? The monk said no, so he killed him, thus completing one hundred. Then he asked who the most knowledgeable man on earth was, and he was directed to a man of knowledge, and said that he had killed one hundred people. Could he repent? He said, yes, who could stand between him and repentance? Go to such and such a land, for therein there are people who worship Allah. So go and worship Allah with them, and do not go back to your own land, for it is a bad land. So he set out. Then when he was halfway there, death came upon him. The angels of mercy and the angels of torment disputed over him. The angels of mercy said, He came repenting and turning wholeheartedly towards Allah. The angels of torment said, He never did anything good. Then an angel in the form of a man came to them and they appointed him to decide between them. He said, Measure the distance between the two lands, and whichever is closer, that is where he belongs. So they measured it and they found that he was closer to the land that he was heading for. So the angels of mercy took him. Qatada said, al Hassan said, We were told that when death came to him, he leaned forward towards the land he was heading for. It was narrated from Abu Sayyid al-Khudri from the Prophet, peace be upon him, a man killed ninety-nine people. Then he started asking whether he could repent. He came to a monk and asked him, and he said, You cannot repent. So he killed the monk. Then he started asking. Then he left that town for another town where there were righteous people. When he was part way there, death overtook him, and he died when he was leaning forward. The angels of mercy and the angels of torment disputed over him but he was closer to the righteous town by a hand span, so he was counted as one of its people. A hadith like that of Mu'adh bin Mu'adh, number 7009, was narrated from Qatada with this chain of narrators, and he added, Allah ordered to one land to move away, and to the other land to come closer.